Okay. Now, there's only one other last requirement, and that is we'd like to get the, uh, the L.A. Memorial Choir in on this one. Uh, are you guys... I guess you're game. You've been game all night, okay? Now, it's a, it's a low part, but it builds up. Last, and all, last statement is that uh, this song starts out with an absolutely brilliant Chet Atkins guitar lick that it took me about four hours to steal, and I wish you'd appreciate it when it comes by. It was just after dark when the truck started down The hill it leads into Scranton, Pennsylvania Carrying 30,000 pounds Of bananas Carrying 30,000 pounds Hitting big jumps of bananas Was a young driver just out on his second job, and he was carrying the next day's base of fruit for everyone in that cold start city where children play without despair in backyard slack piles and folks manage to eat each day just about thirty thousand pounds of banana. Bananas. He passed the sign that he should have seen Saying shift the low gear A fifty dollar fine My friend He was thinking perhaps About a warm breath woman Who was waiting at the journey's end He started down the two mile drop The curving road that wound from the top of the hill Pushing on through the shortening miles They ran down to the depot Just a few more miles to go Then he'd go home and have a ease That long cramped day away And the smell of 30,000 pounds Let's hear you Of bananas Yes, the smell of 30,000 pounds Really loud now and excitement He was picking up speed as the city spread and swing playing lights below him But he paid no heed as the sugar and thoughts of the night's delights went through him His foot as the brakes to slow him down But the pedal floored easy without a sound He said, Christ! It was funny how he had named the only man who could save him now He was trapped inside a dead hill slide is the hunchback with every one of those yellow green I'm coming you 30,000 pounds Dream it now! Yes, there were 30,000 pounds Even louder! That led him to the speaker's screen And he missed the thankful passing bus at 90 miles an hour And he said, go on, make it a dream As he rolled his last ride down He said, go on, make it a dream As he rolled his last ride down And he said, what they think he for cars Flipped on 13 telephone poles Hit two hours and food they treat Across seven people who suddenly lost his head, not to mention an arm or two before he stopped. Stopped. And he smeared for 400 yards <laughs> along the hill that leads into Scranton, Pennsylvania. All those 30,000 pounds. You guessed it. Thank 
Thank God you're here. Now, some of you may think that it would be easy to write a song like this, but it isn't. See, most great works of art have a theme that holds them together. This song doesn't. As a matter of fact, I had a great deal of trouble ending it. As a matter of fact, the first ending was like this. Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas today. And if that wasn't enough. Yes, we have no bananas. Bananas in Scranton, PA. Now, I was very proud of that ending. And with much anticipation, I sang, sang it for the guys in the group and my brothers. And the reaction was best summed up by my brother Tom, who said, Harry, it sucks. Well, I was devastated. But I went back to my lonely writer's garret and decided that I would try again and come up with a new ending. Since it was a country and western song, maybe I could write a country, country ending. Something about motherhood this time, because the song already had a truck. Something with weeping steel guitars, wailing fiddles, and an incredible banjo part. And something with harmony sung by, you guessed it, the L.A. Memorial Choir. You'll see your part when it comes by. A woman walks into her room where her child lies sleeping, sleeping. And when she sees his eyes are closed, she sits there silently weeping. I see gay liberation has hit L.A. And though she lives in Scranton, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. 3,000 munchkins and a troll. <laughs> she never, ever eats. <laughs> Not one of 30,000 pounds. Sounds like the Mormon Tubercular Choir out there. <laughs> well, the sad truth is, no matter how loudly and how lovely, if that's a word, <laughs> you say of bananas, it doesn't alter in the least the fact that when I sang that ending for my brothers and the guys in the group, their reaction was best summed up by my brother Steve, who said, No, no, Harry, you've got to be kidding me. What? You really expect that to end this song? I mean, it's nice, Harry. I mean, the words are potentially harmless. The, the music is a lot, is, is, is pleasant. But uh, I think Tom's definitely right. It sucks. I was brokenhearted. And once more, I went back to my, my writer's room and decided finally that honesty was the best policy and I would end the song the way I found out about it in the first place. And that was coming on a Greyhound bus through Scranton, Pennsylvania in 1965. <laughs> like this. Oh. 
You see the man that told me about it on the bus Says it went up the hill out of Scranton, Pennsylvania You know he shrugged his head, he shrugged his shoulders And said, and this is exactly what he said He said, boy, <laughs> boy it sure must have been something. Just imagine 30,000 pounds of banana. Yes, there were 30,000 pounds of mashed banana. A banana. A banana. A banana. 